Hello guys, very nice to meet you. Dr. Ivan here. This will be this will be my first video in English in this YouTube channel. So, first of all, subscribe to the channel, put a like if you like the videos, of course, because today we're going to talk about BPC157. So, BPC157 actually is a peptide, of course, and the acronym is body protection compound 157 because actually it derived from a bigger protein that is called bpc when we talk about peptides we talk about something that is not bigger than 5000 atom and when we talk about bpc 157 of course it's smaller than 5000 dalton but bpc so the bigger the bigger protein is more than 5,000 Dalton. So that's the reason why they decide to isolate BPC-157 from BPC. But what is BPC? BPC is body protection compound, first time discovered in the gastric epithelium. So your stomach can pr produce it when there is so stressful condition, too many acid, a lot of uh, inflammation in the stomach or in the uh, gastrointestinal system and that's why they decide to isolate that and use it uh, to heal problems like uh, colitis or Crohn's diseases, uh, ulcerative retocolitis and stuff like this. But what happened? Happened that BPC-157 is not only useful for your gastrointestinal system but for every single tissue. In particular, people use these together with TB500 to heal from injuries in the joints. And most of times they can use it also for modulating immune system to decrease inflammation because BPC-157 and TB500 can polarize macrophages, the inflammatory cells or the immune cells of the innate immune response from M1 to M2, so through the anti-inflammatory phenotype. So I'm here to talk about BPC-157 because we use it, we use it since 20 years maybe uh, to heal and to cure uh, joint pain especially. Uh, we can use it also for gastric problems, we can use it for neurodegenerations problems, but first of all we use it for joint pain. So one thing is very important, when you start to have pain, back pain, knee pain, wrist pain or elbow pain, every kind of pain uh, that could be muscular, skeletal or uh, articular pain. Most of times the first line treatment is cortisone and morphine if the pain goes on and start to be chronic. But especially cortisone or FANS, so uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, can act decreasing the mucus layer in your gut and that's a real problem because less mucus layer alteration of the protection in your gastrointestinal system and of course more predisposition to ulcers and pain and inflammation alteration in digestion pain of course diarrhea and stuff like this and we don't want it so with bpc 157 you can both heal the pain in your joint and can also treat and cure and give a protection to your stomach and to your gut. And this is really, really, really important, especially when we have joint pain that, you know, it's hard to live, to walk and to do stuff with joint pain. So five milligrams once per week for four shots of BPC-157 could be good, could be a good treatment, but also one milligram every day but my advice is is to start with five milligrams so a big shot once locally possibly where you have pain and uh, just find out what happened as i said before we can use bpc 157 for neurodegenerative disease so for increased synthesis of neurotransmitters to increase growth factors in your brain for example hepatocyte growth factor but in this case it's better to use the spray nasal spray and we can also use bpc-157 to treat gastrointestinal tract in that case you can take it in capsule form that's all guys here even martellato and nice to be here with you